<clears throat> My name is Tara Mackey and I'm with the Bookmobile Outreach Department and what I'm going to be showing you to do today is how to make a terrarium. So you're going to need a couple of things first. Um, you're going to want some sort of river rocks or pub, uh, pebbles. This is a drainage layer. You don't want the roots to sit in water. Horticultural charcoal. This is used to keep the terrarium from getting nasty and moldy. And indoor potting mix, a big glass jar, and then you're going to want some plants. You're going to want to look for plants that specifically say, I enjoy low light. Those are going to be the best choice. And you might be able to get away with some medium light ones. So we'll see how that goes today. So what you're going to do first is you're going to want to put about an inch So next goes your charcoal. Same thing, you're gonna want about an inch. All right, and so the tricky part about doing this is that you wanna make sure that you don't put too much of the bottom layer because your plants won't have room to grow. Okay, let's see. Might need a little bit more. Two to three inches should be good. All right. So here comes the really messy part. You need to take everything out of the pots. And you're going to want to break up everything around the roots. Um, this takes a little bit of a while. You're just going to use your thumbs. You're just going to gently massage the dirt away. So after you've gotten all of your plants uh, desoiled, probably gonna look a little something like this. Now comes the fun part where you get to put them in. <clears throat> so I'm gonna start with our fern and I'm just gonna kinda use my hand to make a hole. And we're not gonna put it in super steady just yet. This is just a placeholder to see if we like it. I'm gonna turn it just a little bit. Okay, and then this is another medium light plant. So I'm gonna put it a little bit over here, same thing. And you're just gonna lightly kind of push soil over the roots. And if you need, you can take a handful of potting soil from your bag and just kind of scoop it underneath.
And then our next two plants are low light plants. So the goal here is to actually have the fern and our begonia right here to cast shade so they don't get too much light. Now's a good time to mention that you probably shouldn't put this in direct light. In fact, these do really good in a uh, dimly lit corner. Um, they make great additions to a desk. Just kind of put that over. And it may be kind of hard to get it how you wanted it at first. So this is the most frustrating part as well. And I would really recommend if this is your first one to get a container um, with a large opening so you can get your whole hand in there. I know we've probably seen all the ones in light bulbs on Pinterest, but that's a, a little beyond my skill level right now. Okay, so the next step isn't necessary, but it does really help to bring together the entirety of the terrarium. So this is moss. Um, I actually got this in the outdoor section of Lowe's and we're going to put it down right about there. Now the fun part is we're going to put moss around all the plants that I've just planted and you don't want to bury them underneath the moss. This is the hard, hardest part. Um, the moss isn't a necessity, it just makes it, um, it brings the whole thing together, makes it look more cohesive. It's a little bit of extra dirt. You'll probably have to break the moss apart if you do decide to do it. Let's see. All right. As you can see, it's going a little bit limp right here. It probably needs to be watered. Good. Great. Okay, so once you've got everything in place, and I could probably sit here and fuss for hours, but to be, uh, to be quick about it, once you've finished, you shouldn't have to water it often. Um, you can probably pour about a water bottle's worth in here. Um, it'll trickle down and it'll probably build up some uh, condensation and it'll kind of keep itself watered. Once you get this uh, set, it kind of takes care of itself. If it does need more water, you can always spray it with a water bottle. That helps a lot. Um, but really, again, you shouldn't, you shouldn't soak it. So um, in conclusion, that's how you make a terrarium.